Fatima Jakut was already a qualified forensic toxicologist when she realized that her real dream was to be at the controls of an aircraft. It took a major mind shift and a lot of determination, but today she's a senior SAA pilot and she has a fascinating story to tell. For most of us, taking a flight entails sitting back and enjoying the ride as a passenger. But there is an elite group of professionals for whom flying means taking control of a multi-million dollar machine and delivering us safely to our destinations. Fatima Jakot wears her golden wings with pride and now she's helping aspiring pilots to earn theirs. When I was little, all I ever wanted to do was fly. Many hard falls and broken bones later, I gave up and decided to become a mermaid. <laughs> Today, I am meeting a pilot, Fatima Jakut, an inspiring woman who never gave up on her dream of flying. On a typical working day, Fatima's office is the flight deck of an airliner. But when she isn't in the air, you're likely to find her at the world's first science, technology, robotics, engineering, aerospace and mathematics laboratory, which she developed and launched in 2015. Oh, I'm under attack! Oops, sorry, Zach. I didn't see you there. Fatima, what an absolute pleasure to meet you. Welcome to our stream laboratory, Zach. Thank you for having me. Where and when did your love of flying begin? My love of flying actually started at a very young age. My older brother and I, we used to be fascinated whenever that aircraft came flying over. I always thought that there's something special for me in that aeroplane. And I used to say, aeroplane, aeroplane, bring me something. <laughs> And then not really believing that one day I will be a pilot. So I studied chemistry after school and became a forensic scientist. And it's one day that I was busy with a crime scene at the airport. I stood in front of that gigantic 747 and I was like, wow, I want to be in control of this big machine. And packed my bags, said goodbye to forensic science and I started flying in Australia. What sort of training is involved in becoming a pilot? The training is quite interesting because all pilots are driven by our passions. So we learn about navigation, we learn about the weather systems, how the engines really work, how the aircraft really flies, the law framework that we need to operate in. How did you feel after your first solo flight? I was the last one on my course to go solo, so it was very emotional for me. And there I was, no instructor in the aircraft, and I had to land this aircraft on my own. No input from anyone. There was a sense of nervousness but also celebration. Getting her wings was just the first step for Fatima and she has gone on to earn an MBA at the University of Stellenbosch. Her thesis focused on the culture of flight safety among aircraft maintenance engineers. What do you think female pilots bring to the table that differ from their male counterparts? Studies have shown that women are less risk averse, so we'll measure up the risk in a situation and we have to operate within a safety framework but all pilots are safe. You founded the non-profit organization Saki Kamba. How did this come about? In 2010, I started the foundation just after completing my MBA to give back to the community, but most importantly, to expose young kids to the world of aviation and to develop them a little bit. And in 2015, I opened the Stream Laboratory which is a science, technology, robotics, engineering and mathematics facility. Would you like me to show you what we do here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, welcome to the stream of Wow, this is amazing. Is that a real plane? Yes, it's a Piper Tomahawk that was scrapped a couple of years ago and we actually convert it into a flight simulator. That we synced with an air traffic controller behind it and we can actually simulate live conditions at an airport while the pilot is learning to fly the aeroplane. Being a pilot isn't the only career path in the aviation sector and air traffic controllers are also in demand. The aerospace industry offers many other opportunities with a growing demand for skills in the fields of engineering and robotics. There we have Cameron and he is busy with his team. They are testing out the robots that they've been working on this morning and it looks like it's going well there. Did they make those? Yes. It's amazing what they can do in a couple of hours. How to build this robot, how to program it and move it along as you can see. And over here we have the flight simulation room where they can learn to fly and actually do their virtual pilot license. What is the aim of the centre? The aim of the centre is to stimulate creativity and hopefully out of here we get kids who innovate. Because the 21st century is all about innovation and technology, who knows we could have the next Nobel Science Prize winner right here from the Streamlab. 
What for you are the highlights of the foundation? We produced our very first commercial pilot, Alexander Vallette. But one of the greatest highlights is actually seeing the sparkle in someone's eyes when they learn to fly an aeroplane. Please, can I try? Of course you can. Yay! <laughs> So that's me on the ground, as you can see, we're still. We're not flying yet, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, those stripes are the center line. Okay. So you need to try to keep the aircraft on the okay. center line. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you're doing Ooh. well. Well done. And you can pull it back now. Pull okay. back your ear. <laughs> not too much? I'm taking off. We are airborne. I'm flying. I'm falling. You're I'm falling. Yeah, isn't that fun? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, no, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm crash. I crash. Fatima, I know that's just a simulation, but I feel exhilarated. Oh, wow, I can even see the sparkle in your eyes. My day has been made, thank you. Being a pilot is quite a stressful job. How do you relax and unwind? I love packing, so chocolate cake is my speciality. And where do you see the foundation in five years' time? Our plans is to open another stream laboratory in Lanseria and hopefully get more into Africa, exposing young kids to aviation and the aerospace industry in Africa. What is your Youth Day message for South Africa? My purpose in life is to give wings to the dreams of others. So yeah, I am living my dream and I'm here to buy some shares in other people's dreams. Thank you so much for such an inspiring day. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Fajima brings a whole new spin to reaching for the stars. Not only is she reaching for the stars, but she's also helping others to reach for them too. She has inspired me today and I hope she's also inspired you.